Leave It to Beaver, a hallmark of 1950s television, introduced us to the charmingly mischievous character Whitey Whitney, brought to life by the one and only Stanley Fafara. But what happened to Stanley Fafara after the cameras stopped rolling? Throughout the 70s, he developed severe alcoholism and other substance dependencies, once confessing to a reporter that addiction troubles began as early as age 14, right after Leave It to Beaver ended. Despite growing up in a suburban middle-class comfort through steady earnings, the former child star was penniless and directionless just over a decade after his hit show ended. On September 20, 2003, he passed away suddenly from complications during hernia surgery, coincidentally on his 54th birthday. In a tragic turn of events, the struggling actor couldn't afford a simple headstone after his death. Attendees of the small funeral passed around collection plates to cover the cost.